Hey, it's Angela with Angela Ed, Ed, Angela's Edge again. Uh, I got a, a little gadget here, not a knife, but it is a, bam, a Life Gear Stormproof Crank Light, Radio Crank Light, uses, has a USB in and out charging. So it's an FM radio and a siren too. So I haven't, I actually haven't opened it. it still, there's no box to unbox, it's just strapped in. So it's supposed to be able to charge your phone in a pinch. But it has a siren and a radio, like FM radio. I guess there's no such thing as, well there's still AM, but I guess they just put the FM in there. So, so you can charge your phone in emergency. Alright, so let's, uh, I won't be able to do it. I'll probably, I might have to make a, I don't know, maybe a, a second video. Because I, I, I record with my phone, so I can't exactly... I might be able to plug this speaker in here, maybe, see if it charges. I don't know. All right, let's pop this open and see how the crank thing works. So it's supposed to be... I just sharpened this yesterday. Slices through it. All right, so that's... there. Oh, one more. What the heck is this? Watch this blade. Nothing. Like nothing. Like butter. So there's the, I guess I could pull the wire ties out, and we'll just leave this here, so we can all see it. So, put this away, it was real light, so there's instructions, but who, knew, who needs those? I don't need them right now, so I turn the power on, looks like you turn the power on there, power's on now. And this light, so you have two light, two dim lights, and one, it almost like a different color light or something, I don't know. It's like these two are brighter, and that one's dimmer, I don't know. Alright, so, there's no, I'll well, see, so turn the radio on. Oh, you there is a radio. I didn't tower. expect to actually uh, pick, oh, what the fuck, We're, oh, there's the tuning. I was like, how do you tune it? But there's the tuning. That's Oh, that's the volume. The volume is the on off, and then. Oh. You get some. I don't know. You don't know what channel it's on. That's weird. You just gotta keep hitting. I was talking. It's like you don't know what channel the radio's on. You just all oh, there's is buttons to press up and down. It's like a scan. That's kind of funny. So. So, let's shut the radio off. So you do get, I'm surprised you get signal. That's cool. Here's the siren. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> wow, the cats didn't like that. Oh my. Let's see. Oh, my wife ain't gonna like that either. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, this is actually it's not a bad idea. Like, I've, I've been reading a little bit. And like, say if you are in the woods... And your voice actually don't carry when I'm I bred in the woods, and that's why people carry whistles and stuff. If you get lost in the woods, you could uh, basically whistle. But I'm pretty sure if you had this, you would be able to get maybe some attention. And here's the crank. Oh, I see. I wonder if there's a yeah. There's a direction you're supposed to take it. You're supposed to go counterclockwise. Man, don't even. I don't really feel like it's doing anything. I mean, I could hear it, but it's supposed to have, for ten, one minute of cranking, it gives you ten minutes of light and FM radio. So, so that's, so you, and it's really easy to crank. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of neat little thing. So it fits back in. Let's see, uh, let me try something here. Uh, let's get the coffee cup here. Move that out of the way. Uh, I want to plug this in and see it says it. it's the charge and it's kind of uses the same uh, the same thing so it's supposed to charge but I don't know if there's no there's not really no charge light so I don't know I don't know how you know if it's charged or not that's kind of interesting oh come on I know I popped it open that's kind of hard to get out I know I've I popped it open when it was still locked in the package. You need a knife to 
Hold on, I might need my knife to use it. You need a knife to open it back up. But oh, okay. So I want. Well, shit. Well, how the? How do you? That's the output. So you can't. How do you charge it? Charge flash. Charge flashlight. Oh, is there a cool? Oh, that's cool. There's. I'm like, how do you charge it? So that's the output. So this must be. I don't want to break it. How the heck does this? Um, and I'm real close to breaking it. I think I don't want to break it, but it looks like you got to pull it out. There it goes. Well, that's weird. Okay, so what is this thing? I'm not. Oh, then you just plug it in. You don't need a cord. You just well, you plug it into if you have a. I guess a phone chart. Oh, okay, that's cool. Let's see. Does this come out? Oh, it comes out just a little bit. So you plug it into like a. That's how you'd charge it. But I don't. I don't know how it's. There's an, oh, there's a charge light right there. It's charging. See it? So that's how you charge it. it. So you don't even need a. So you don't need. So you actually don't need a cord per se so I see I don't know what the charge level is so let's take this off and let's try something seeing I got my phone so that came I, I felt like I was gonna break it but it's just snug in there so I would hope it wouldn't break but man it just don't it feels like they should have given you a little longer cord though and I just I, I don't know I don't know if that will break eventually it's just there. It snaps in there. Let's try this. This is supposed to be the output. And let's see if it will charge this speaker. But the speaker is charged. So, but let's see what it, if it says it's charging. So, uh, tight. Error case in. I don't know. If it's, I don't know. That's the power. I need to, I really don't know, I have to mess around with, oh wait, maybe you got to crank it, it only, you charge it to crank it maybe, oh look, it, that comes on when I do that, what was, I think I go counterclockwise, so this is supposed to be, you're supposed to be able to shut your phone off, and crank it for one minute, and it's supposed to build 10, 10 minutes of charge, but I won't really know until I, I don't know, this is already charged up. That's the problem. So, I don't know. I have to mess with the output of it. I'm, I don't see why it wouldn't work. But, uh, but that's the whole thing. Say if you're out somewhere, you got an output for your phone. Everything. Well, I guess they made it like, so, like it's really tight to open. It's somewhat waterproof probably. But, yeah, that one's the... The center one's brighter than the other one, so so it's like a more of a blue light and then a sp spot. So that's cool. But it's supposed to supply for one minute of cranking. It's supposed to give you ten minutes of light or FM radio. And the FM radios, oh, it works. I got I gotta make sure I turn the channel so I don't get. They say I'm. Or copyright or something, so I gotta continuously switch the. I'm picking up a lot of channels. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so I have to experiment. I have to experiment with the uh, the charging part of it with my phone. But you're supposed to shut your phone off. It says, and then charge it. So I'm gonna try that. So, but they're. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I gotta keep turning the channel. So, oh yeah. So you got to jack the radio up. That's pretty loud, though. All right, we'll shut the radio off and one more time with the siren to wake the cats up. There's my wife. Stop it. But anyways, all right. I'll catch you guys later. Bye for to finish this video off I I did what they said and it kind of works 
I basically, if you read the small directions, they go a little more detail about, I'll zoom this in right here, but uh, here you're supposed to power the switch on off on the bottom. I, I cranked it, uh, so the crank works, here's how it's supposed, here's, here's the explanation how it's supposed to work. So when you have this switch right here, the power switch is on on. You are using your radio, your siren, and your lights. Oh, that's not the light. Lights, and uh, so those three items you use. And you crank it, you are charging those three items. Okay, so you go in counterclockwise, and that, that charges those actual three items. And if you want to charge your phone, you take this switch down here, you flip it off. And by doing that, that basically switches it to this output. And then with that output, you plug your uh, your uh, your USB and you know, the like where your charger would normally go, and you plug it in your phone, and it says to shut your phone off. Well, it don't say to shut your phone off on the small directions, but it says to shut it off on the main direction. So I'd, I'd re recommend shutting your phone off. Uh, and it actually does, it shows you charging. And I did it for, unfortunately I did it the first time, I didn't know, I tried probably for four minutes uh, and I was actually charging the radio and the light and everything. I didn't realize you had to flip this switch. So when you flip this switch, you're charging, you're taking this this switch puts the power to this cord, your charging cord, and then you're supposed to, uh, for one minute of talk time, it says on the box, equals uh, four minutes of turning. And believe me, you don't want to do this just for fun. It is definitely just an emergency application because I turned it for four minutes. My phone was at 56%. And I really didn't see it changed. It didn't go to 57, but my hands are so tired because I, I did like uh, charged, I charged the other stuff didn't, I was hoping I was charging a phone, but anyways, so it would definitely be on an emergency basis only. I thought it would work kind of like, uh, like, you know, those power packs, like you just plug the phone in and you already have power. But it don't work that way. the The only power you get from the from this device here is through the crank to your phone. So there is no like. So it's it's like I believe it says. Uh, uh, I know I see an emergency, but it says radio crank light, and that's all true. But um, but it's really I I don't know. Maybe if you only had like two percent on your uh, phone. It, it might you might see the change faster, but I already, I had 56. So like say your your phone is dead, and you probably only have like one or two percent. This would probably work. I mean, this is going to be probably like your car's broke down, you your phone's dead, and you have this, and you it you charge it for like to get two three percent on your phone. You make that emergency call, and and I guess that's what it's for. This crank it works. It shows it's charging. But you have to work it. You get your hands get tired by cranking on this. So you wouldn't want to like, oh, I'm gonna save money and just use the crank to charge your phone up. But it, it was not like that. You'd be cranking uh, for a long time. But I, I think on an emergency, I mean, I think that's what they sell it for. It's like a emergency basis. But I, I was kind of under the impression though, when you plug this in, it has the battery that's already been charged, like. Uh, you could use it to charge your phone too, but that's not the case. The only way you charge it is you crank the crank it, and so um, you know under that assumption, it's not as cool as I thought it, it was. But it's all right. It's not bad. Something you just throw in your car and have it for emergency. It's definitely an emergency light. It's not like you. I don't know. It's it's it's. If you read the directions, I, I to me it kind of seemed like it was a little misleading, but but it's but when you read the directions, they actually show the 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 charging part is for the phone, and the crank is the only thing that that uh, charges it.